All right, in this video, let's get started with some code setup. As you can see, I have created a folder called React TypeScript and opened VS Code inside that folder. This folder is going to be our workspace for the rest of the series. Now to learn about TypeScript with React, we first need a React app that is configured specifically for TypeScript. Luckily for us, Create React App provides a TypeScript template we can use. So in the terminal, run the command npx create React App React hyphen TypeScript hyphen demo dash dash template space TypeScript. Here, React TypeScript demo is our project name and we specify we want TypeScript to be configured by using the template option. Once the command completes, you should have a folder called React TypeScript Demo. To run this application, first navigate inside the project folder. So cd into the project folder and now run the command yarn start or npm start. The command will open the browser on localhost port 3000 with your basic React TypeScript application up and running. Let's head back to VS Code as there is one important point to make note of. If I expand the source folder, we see an index.tsx file and an app.tsx file. Index.tsx is the entry point to our React app where we mount the app component onto the root DOM node and app.tsx contains our app component which is the root component. Unlike a regular create react app project though, the file extension is .tsx. And this is your first learning from a React TypeScript code base. Components are defined in a .tsx file and not a .js or .jsx file. I stress this because when we begin writing React applications with TypeScript, we fall back into the habit of creating a .js file or a .jsx file and the app simply breaks. We spend a good amount of time wondering what the problem is. So make sure your files are .tsx extension. Also to our surprise, both these files contain nothing that looks like TypeScript code. But if you hover on the app component, VS Code tells us that app component is a function which returns a JSX element. And this is called type inference. And you will learn that type inference comes in handy most of the time we are writing code. We only have to intervene when TypeScript needs a little bit of help. With that in mind, I'm going to make small changes to ensure we are ready to learn some new things in the next video. In app.tsx, I'm going to remove the header content and also the unnecessary imports at the top. Next, in the source folder, I'm going to create another folder called components. I'm going to leave it empty for now, but before we start a video, I might create a component behind the scenes which will help you focus on TypeScript aspects rather than plain React code which you might already know. So for a lot of the videos, we will start with a component already in place and just focus on making it work with TypeScript. All right, now that we have a React app configured with TypeScript, in the next video, let's see how to work with some component props.